What is going on, Ada Nation? Welcome to Dap Central. I'm your host here, Fareed. Today, we're going to be diving deep into Catalyst funding round number 11, which will be kicking off on November 15th of 2023 with three big changes that I want to break down as a part of today's video. Now, for anybody who has not heard of Project Catalyst before, this is going to be Cardano's way of funding all of the builders given their approval by the community. So what we're going to have is going to be a period where we can have proposals basically um, out in the community or for the community to review as those proposals are kind of refined and um, voted upon. Some of them will win and some of them will not. Those that win will essentially be funded out of the Cardano treasury. Now, this particular funding round, we're going to see a total of 50 million ADA distributed to Project Catalyst approved projects. Now, that said, that is going to be the same exact amount that we saw in the last funding round, which just wrapped up about a month or so ago. Now, that particular funding round saw over 1,500 different proposals proposed for the community to review. Of that 1,500, only 13% or roughly about 192 projects were actually funded. So that was quite the bit of competition there. Congratulations to anybody who made it through that particular funding round. I did provide coverage throughout the entire process. Now, as a part of today's video, we're going to be diving into all of the latest updates that I just mentioned there. And I want to break those down and give you guys some specifics around all of the, the different timelines for every single portion of this next funding round. So first things first, if you guys want to find out more about Project Catalyst yourself, the official website is available at projectcatalyst.io forward slash funds. I'll leave the link to that down below in the video description. So as a part of funding round number 11, we have the confirmed launch date taking place on the 14th of November. So today we should be kicking off the brand new funding round. Now we don't have all of the total amounts here, but I will jump into a separate article, which I think provides a little bit more clarity. Scrolling down, we've got the idea journey. So we're going to kick things off with the submission process where proposees can put, put out their proposals for review, followed by a community review. And then we're going to have the community begin to vote. And one thing to note is that if you are voting is that you will be rewarded in ADA for actually participating. So not only is this a way for projects to benefit from the Cardano treasury, but it's also a way for members within the community to get involved and get paid in ADA for doing so. After that, we're going to have the final voting results followed by the project onboarding. Now, one thing that was brought in last time was what they call milestones. So the milestone is basically going to be a way for the team. I believe it's going to be the Cardano Foundation to verify that projects are actually delivering on what they say they are. Keep in mind that this is the 11th time that Project Catalyst has actually occurred. So every time we have changes, and as a part of that, the process is refined and fine-tuned to hopefully be better in the next round. Now, that said, because of the milestones, that should hopefully prevent teams from taking money without actually delivering. So as you complete more milestones, you're then given um, more of the allocation that you initially requested during your actual proposals launch. So I just wanted to highlight there. So that's just one of the biggest changes that was introduced in funding round number 10. Now, jumping into funding round number 11, again, there's going to be three changes I want to highlight. So we're going to break down this entire article here, touching on some of the key highlights released by Tim Richmond. So it states here, the IOG Catalyst team announces funding round number 11 with a total fund size of 50 million ADA. Again, the same exact amount that was released in funding round number 10. Now, keep in mind that the value of ADA itself was around 27 to 28 cents when the proposals are being submitted, whereas now after the pump in the past couple of weeks, Cardano is currently trading at 37 cents. So the USD value has increased, but the total amount of ADA being distributed has not. 
Funding round number 11 will launch during the upcoming Project Catalyst Town Hall on November 15th. So even though that last page I showed there earlier said that the round will be kicking off on November 14th, it looks like it might actually be on the 15th at 1700 UTC during that Project Catalyst Town Hall. Now the proposal submissions will open up at 1100 UTC on the 16th and they'll close on December 12th. So we don't have the specific time on which the um, submissions will close, but it looks like submissions will be open for just under 30 days or about one month. In terms of the timeline, this is going to follow the following schedule. As I mentioned, it's gonna kick off on November 15th. The funding um, window for proposal submissions will open up on the 16th at 1100 UTC. And again, those submissions will be able to be made at least draft ones up until November 30th. Now there's gonna be seven days, which I believe will be right before the submission deadline where people can finalize their actual submission. So that will have to occur before December 7th at 1100 UTC. Following that is going to be the community review. And that's gonna kick off on December 14th all the way through January 25th. So a little bit over a month for the community review. And then we will have the funding round vote taking place from February 1st all the way through February 15th. So roughly about two weeks right after Valentine's Day, voting will close. Now it states here in closing, it is estimated that the results for funding round number 11 will be announced on February 22nd with project onboarding commencing in March. So about a week or so to tally all of the votes associated with this current round. And then we should get the news out for the community as to who's been funded and who has not. Now, before we jump into the proposal categories, I wanna to touch on the first change coming in this brand new round. So that is going to be with respect to downvoting. For anybody who was here in funding round number 10, you would have recalled that that was actually one of the biggest rounds in which we saw downvoting being applied. So in that particular round, you had the ability to either upvote or downvote a project. The difference between the number of upvotes and downvotes, if it was positive leaning towards more upvotes, that was basically kept and that was how um, projects were tallied to see who made the cut and who did not. Basically taking a count of the upvotes if they're greater than the downvotes and then funding as many projects as possible until the treasury funds ran out. Now, what we saw was that there were a couple of whale wallets that basically just gained the system and were just downvoting any projects that they did not want to see funded because of the amount that of ADA that they held that basically removed all odds of any projects being funded if they were targeted or downvoted by these wallets. So in this new funding round, we're not gonna see the ability to downvote any longer. So all that you'll be able to do is either upvote a project or abstain. Now, if you abstain, it's basically the same thing as not voting for, because again, there's not gonna be the notion of a downvote anymore. Now, this does two things. It obviously stops the gamification that we saw in funding round number 10, but it also makes it simpler to tally and actually confirm who has won as a part of Project Catalyst. So all they're gonna be doing now is just counting and tallying all of the upvotes that a particular project receives. And depending on how that compares to other proposals, you'll be funded or not. So hopefully that addresses the biggest issue there with the whale wallets downvoting and basically making it almost impossible for a lot of builders to get their proposals passed if they were targeted. So that is going to be the first major change. Now, the second major change is going to be surrounding proposal categories. So previously, I believe there were a total of 13 or 14 different challenge categories, some of them labeled as products and integrations, some of them focusing on stake pool operations, some of them focusing on the improvement of Cardano's catalyst and a few others. Now, moving forward, 
Proposal submissions will have to be organized into new streamlined categories and a track based approach will be taken moving forward. So proposal categories will now fall under one of three categories. Category number one is going to be Cardano use cases. Number two will be Cardano open and the number three will be catalyst systems improvements for Cardano use cases. This category is going to be divided into three different funding stacks. So their first stack is going to be called the concept stage, which is going to be for new innovations requiring funding to develop their initial prototype. So basically anything that has not actually had anything built for it, and it's still in the idea or concept phase. Number two within the Cardano use cases sub stack is going to be the solution track. So the solution track is predicated on the idea that a functioning prototype is available to be demonstrated and that there's an intention to use the funding to develop an MVP or a minimum viable product or to prepare the solution to deploy on the Cardano testnet. So this is a stage ahead of the idea phase, because again, there's something that is there, but there's funding that is needed in order to actually launch that first MVP or prototype. The third track is going to be called the product track, and that's going to be for applicants with a working product already in the market that requires the development of new capabilities. I, for one, will be first to say that I love this brand new approach, trying to break down where different projects are, as opposed to putting everybody within a specific bucket. I recall the last funding round where we saw, I believe it's called products and integration. That category had over 9 million ADA given over to it. But there were so many different ideas and they were all at completely different uh, stages of development. So you had regular ideas or concepts. You had platforms that had at least a working um, product and then also had um, projects that had some sort of idea in a prototype or an MVP that just needed that little bit of funding to get to the finish line. So those were all bundled up and you basically had to vote for all of those in a single category. Moving forward, that is not going to be the case. And it sounds like ideas, um, MVPs and fully functioning products will be classified differently to make sure that there's no overlap between what kinds of projects are getting funded. I think there was a big concern that a lot of projects that were funded in funding round number 10 were projects that had already built or that already had a functioning product and that they were getting the majority of the funds. So this brand new track issue or this brand new track concept is going to make sure that all portions or all types of projects, regardless of what phase of building they are, are going to get allotted some sort of funding. Let me know what you guys think down below about that brand new concept. Do you agree with that? Or do you think that it was better to just lump some everybody into a single category? Now, the very last piece that I want to touch on is going to be the fact that moving forward, there will be a maximum number of proposals that any one person can lead or co-propose on. So again, another big issue that we saw during funding round number 10 was the fact that people were putting out a lot of proposals and it's not to say that they shouldn't be able to do that, but how realistic is it that somebody can actually execute on 15 or 20 different proposals if they were to get funded? It's probably highly unlikely, right? And again, that makes sense. So the CF has basically noticed that a lot of people were doing that, putting their names out on multiple proposals in the hopes that one or two of them would get funded. And in order to curb the gamification of the actual system, you're now only going to be able to, I believe, be associated with a maximum of about five or so proposals. Let me actually double check here if I can confirm. So yes, given this particular screenshot here, which was demoed at the Cardano Summit, it states that if more than five proposals are submitted, only the five most recent proposals will actually make the ballot. So definitely be careful if you're going to be putting out multiple proposals where you're a co-lead or the actual lead for that proposal. So the very last thing I want to jump into is going to be the use cases and the actual amount of funding going towards each category. So Cardano use cases is going to see a total of 22 million ADA. We're going to have Cardano open, which is basically um, any project that does not fit within the three tracks in terms of Cardano use cases. So there's no limitations there. And that's going to receive 21 million ADA. And then we're going to have Catalyst system improvements receiving a total of 3 million ADA going towards funding that. Now, when we break down Cardano use cases up here, 
the concept stage is going to receive 7.5 million ADA. The solution stage for MVPs is going to receive 7.5 million ADA as well. And then we're going to see um, the products or live functioning platforms also receive 7.5 million ADA. So I'm a big fan of the fact that they've split this down evenly this time and that they're going to be distributing the funds equally to either type or excuse me, to all three types of tracks. Scrolling down in terms of Catalyst or excuse me, Cardano Open, we're going to see two different categories. The first is going to be for developers and then the second is going to be for ecosystem. So developers will receive 10.5 million ADA and then ecosystem will also receive 10.5 million ADA. And then the remaining 3 million ADA will go towards any um, proposals that are aiming to improve the actual Catalyst system itself. So I think that's always a positive there. You want to make sure that you have at least some budget towards improving and iterating and just making the actual platform better. And on that note, I want to quickly highlight something that was released by the CF, which was an actual proposal called Cardano Catalyst Voices. So this is aiming to be a one stop shop, not only for submitters submitting their proposals, but also for reviewers as well as voting. You can imagine that right now you have to head over to IdeaScale. You have to download a separate app if you're voting and the entire process is just some kind of somewhat kind of disjoint. And so what Voices is aiming to do is simplify and unify all of that in one single location. Again, if you guys want to find out more about Project Catalyst, or if you just want to review some of the older funding rounds, you can head over to cardano.ideascale.com, create an account, register, and from there you can view all of the data surrounding all of the past rounds. I believe that will do it here for today's video, breaking down the biggest changes coming down the pipes for Project Catalyst funding round number 11. Do you agree with all of these changes, especially the removal of the downvotes? What do you think about these brand new tracks or categories? And what do you think about the allocation of the actual ADA itself? Let me know down below. I always do appreciate it. If you guys found this particular video to be helpful, please make sure to tap that thumbs up. It definitely does let the YouTube algorithm know that I'm doing a great job, but it also helps to get this information out to other members within the growing Cardano community. Last but not least, if you want more content like this, surrounding Cardano Catalyst or just the Cardano ecosystem, consider subscribing to Dap Central for more content. On that note, I will see you guys in the next video.